Ah, what's up everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day today. Today's video, we are gonna talk about how to become an actor. Anybody out there that would like to become an actor, uh, but doesn't know the right direction or doesn't even know where to start, this video will point you in the right direction. So I'm gonna give you guys five tips on how to start acting and how to get into the acting world. I know it seems like this far distant thing that is very hard to attain and to reach, which it definitely is. But with these five tips, it'll point you in the right direction. So number one is to look on Google, look around town and find a community theater that does plays uh, that you can start getting your feet wet and see what acting's all about. See if it's even something that you like doing. But the best way to start finding out if you like acting and if you really wanna do something like this is to sign up and submit for a local role in a local theater play. Outside of that, I would also suggest trying to see if there's any productions in town that are close to your state or close to your community that you can also do background acting work. Now background acting work is where you are in the background of a scene. Any movie, TV show that you like to watch, look in the background of the scene. There's always people filling out the scene and making it come alive. Background actors are very important to really make the scene come alive and make it feel real and natural to whatever scene that people are trying to portray. I would also suggest trying to get into background work because it gives you a real life idea of what the world's exactly like. There's long hours, it's not always glamorous, guys. And uh, you know, this really gives you an insight into what it would be like if you are an actor and to get you on set some. This also helps you get your feet wet and helps you see exactly what the world is like. So number two, number two, if you go through a community theater, you do some background work, you really like doing this and you wanna get more into it, I would suggest getting headshots, guys. Now that's the first step after that is to get headshots. Now you wanna find a good, reputable photographer in the area that specializes in acting headshots. They're a certain type of look and a certain way to take the photos that casting directors or agents would like to see. But with the quality of iPhones and smartphones these days, if you have the right phone, the right lighting, and the right backdrop, you could take your own headshots at home. So number three, number three is an acting reel. An acting reel is a way for you to show off the characters that you can play and what you can actually do as an actor. Now the best way to start putting together an acting reel is by actually acting. Booking acting jobs that you can use that footage for your reel. Outside of that, it's also great to either write your own script, write your own story, and act it out with your friends, with other actors in the area. That's another way that you can build your acting reel footage. Although it's great to have reel footage that is shot on professional cameras, it is also easy to create your own reel with just an iPhone or any smartphone these days. For acting reel, you want to show a very broad range of what you can do. Uh, different clips of maybe comedy, drama, suspense, anything that can show a range of what you could do. It's also good to have separate reels. If you have one reel dedicated to comedy, one dedicated to drama, and another dedicated to suspense, that's great too. That's even better. Number four. Number four will also help you get some more acting reel footage. Now number four guys is to sign up for acting websites. Now these are websites that are easy to access by anybody. Some good websites to start at, these are some of the biggest, the most of the big and small productions use. They are Actors Access. You wanna sign up for Actors Access, uh, create a profile, put on headshots, your resume, your reels, and start submitting, guys. You can submit yourself to these jobs without an agent. Although it does make you look more reputable to have an agent submit you. So Actors Access is a great one. Another great website is Casting Networks. This is also used by some of the major and small productions. Uh, you can sign up the same way as Actors Access. You put on your headshots, your resume, your reel, fill out all your information, and get to submitting. Backstage is the exact same as the others, but might have some different, more indie, uh, smaller productions that could get you more real footage and get you more exposure uh, before starting to submit to the bigger projects. So most of these websites, guys, charge either a monthly fee, an annual fee, or a one-time fee to submit to these projects and to host your headshots and your real footage on the website. Number five. So number five, the fifth and final tip that I have to becoming an actor is to submit to agencies. 
So once you have all this stuff together, you have headshots, reels, you're on the websites, then you want to submit to agencies. If you really feel like this is something that you love and you want to continue pursuing, I would find any agencies in your area or in your state that you can submit your stuff to. So headshots, reel, links, anything that you have promoting who you are as an actor and what you're able to do, send that out to an agent and try to get an agent to represent you to submit for work. All right, guys, those are my five tips on how to become an actor. I wish you all the best of luck. Now, it's not glamorous business, and it takes a lot of hard work and dedication, but I believe if you love it and you've really got a passion for it, then you can make it happen. All right, guys, those are my five tips on how to become an actor. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment below if there's any other information that you'd like to know about how to become an actor or the acting world in general. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you can see every video that I post. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.